Stepping down as president of the powerful J-pop talent agency, Johnny's. Julie Fujishima acknowledged for the first time the abuse committed by the founder, her uncle, Johnny Kitawaga. Both the agency and myself personally recognize that sex abuse by Johnny Kitagawa took place. I apologize to his victims from the bottom of my heart. It comes a week after third-party investigators found Kitawaga abused hundreds of boys and young men over several decades. The investigation was commissioned by the company after a BBC documentary earlier this year sparked national outrage. Johnny Kitawaga always denied wrongdoing. He died in 2019, having never faced criminal charges. This despite victims speaking out over the years. The latest allegations came in April, when singer Kwan Okamoto claimed to have been assaulted 15 to 20 times, starting in 2012, when he was 15 years old. Johnny started to massage my feet. He took off my underwear and touched my genitals. He then performed oral sex on me. Kitawaga's power within the industry protected him. For a long time, TV networks that relied on his talent agency didn't cover the allegations. But Thursday's press conference was carried live by most broadcasters, as the wall of silence around Johnny Kitawaga was finally broken. The agency's new president, a J-pop star himself, said he will soon retire from performing and dedicate the rest of his life to dealing with the fallout.